Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Wednesday. We got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys like betting on MLB player props, you already know, go ahead and sign up with Parlay Play in the description below. Get free entries when you guys sign up, so go ahead and hop in there. Hopefully you get some nice wins. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Super busy slate today. Starting with the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Miami Marlins. The Marlins opening up as home favorites at minus 150. Arizona plus 130 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Diamondbacks is Madison Bumgarner with an ERA of 1.17. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, and had two strikeouts. Pitching for the Marlins is Eliza Hernandez with an ERA of 5.75. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, and had five strikeouts. Arizona coming off back-to-back -back wins, winning both matchups 5-4 to four against Miami. Miami on a three-game losing streak right now. Arizona 6-2 and two on the road. Playing pretty good right now. Uh, Madison Bumgarner's been really good on the mound. Yeah, Arizona's got a lot of momentum. Looked good in the first two games here. Get, still getting plus money. I'm going to take Arizona plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Atlanta Braves versus the New York Mets. The Mets opening up as a home favorite at minus 134. Atlanta plus 124 with the over under at seven. Pitching for the Braves is Ian Anderson with an ERA of 4.66. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, and had five strikeouts. Pitching for the Mets is Tyler Meggle with an ERA of 1.93. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, and had five strikeouts. Yeah, Atlanta losing both matchups yesterday in the doubleheader. Um, they're one and four in their last five. Uh, yeah, Mets played pretty good yesterday. Looked pretty, you know, looked nice in that doubleheader. The Mets eight and three at home. Yeah, I like the Mets at home here. I do like Tyler Megal on the mound. He's been really good this season. Taking the Mets at home. Next matchup, we have the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Kansas City Royals. Cardinals opening up as road favorites at minus 135. The Royals plus 125 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Cardinals is Adam Wainwright with an ERA of 4.0. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, and had four strikeouts. Pitching for the Royals is Chris Bubik with an ERA of 10.50. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs and had three strikeouts. Yeah, St. Louis coming off a 7-1 to one loss against the Royals yesterday. They just didn't look that good yesterday. Um, St. Louis 12-3 on the road against Kansas City. I do like the, I do like the Cardinals off a bounce back loss here. Um, Bubik, he's been pretty bad on the mound this season. Giving up a lot of runs. Um... So yeah, I'm going to roll with the Royals on, I'm sorry, I'm going to roll with the Cardinals on the road. Next matchup, we have the Seattle Mariners versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Seattle plus 165 with the over under at seven and a half. Pitching for the Mariners is Matt Brash with an ERA of 6.88. His last start, he pitched two innings gave up six runs and had three strikeouts pitching for Houston is Justin Verlander with an ERA of 1.73 his last start he pitched seven innings gave up one run and had eight strikeouts and Seattle they've looked bad against Houston they haven't even scored against Houston they've lost zero to four and then zero to three in the last two matchups Houston playing good in this series so far. Seattle three and thirteen on the road against Houston. Yeah, I like Houston at home. Justin Verlander has been playing very good this season. 
And then Matt Brash, he's just had a rough few games, giving up a lot of runs. I'm taking Houston at home. Next matchup, we have the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Oakland Athletics. Tampa opening up as a road favorite at minus 125. Oakland plus, one tw- plus 105 with the over-under at 7. Pitching for the uh, pitching for the Rays is Corey Kluber with an ERA of 3.05. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Pitching for Oakland is Frankie Montaz with an ERA of 4.25. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, and had six strikeouts. Yeah, Tampa on a two-game winning streak. They beat Oakland in the last two matchups. Oakland on a five-game losing streak. They've been struggling. Um, they're one and seven at home. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Rays on the road. They've looked really good in this series so far. Oakland struggling. I'm rolling with Tampa on the road. Next matchup, we have the Texas Rangers versus the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 175. The Rangers plus 145 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Rangers is Martin Perez with an ERA of 3.0. His last start, he pitched 7 innings, gave up 1 run, and had 4 strikeouts. Pitching for the Phillies is Zach Wheeler with an ERA of 5.79. His last start, he pitched 6 innings, gave up 0 runs, had 7 strikeouts. Yeah, Texas looked pretty good yesterday against the Phillies, winning that matchup 6-4. to four. They're on a three-game winning streak. Phillies 1-3 in their last four. Texas 6-0 and oh against Philadelphia. Um, yeah, they played very good against the Phillies here. You know, Zach Wheeler hasn't been all that amazing on the mound. Um, coming off a game where he didn't give up a run, but before that he's given up four and seven runs. Um, Perez has actually been pretty, pretty solid on the mound. Take a shot at Rangers plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Minnesota Twins versus the Baltimore Orioles. Minnesota opening up as a road favorite at minus 135. Baltimore plus 125 with the over-under at seven and a half. Pitching for the Twins is Dylan Bundy with an ERA of 2.95. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up six runs, and had seven strikeouts. Pitching for the Orioles is Kyle Bradish with an ERA of 3.0. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, and had two strikeouts. Yeah, Minnesota looked good so far in this Baltimore series. Won the last two matchups. On a four-game winning streak, they're 9-1 and one in their last 10 Baltimore on a two-game losing streak right now. Minnesota 18 and two against Baltimore, eight and two on the road against Baltimore. They played very well against the Orioles. Yeah, I'm rolling with the Twins on the road. Look good in the series so far, playing well. I'm rolling with Minnesota. Next matchup, we have the New York Yankees versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Yankees opening up as road favorites at minus 135. Toronto plus 125 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Yankees is Nestor Cortez with an ERA of 1.31. His last start, he pitched 5 innings, gave up 1 run, and had 3 strikeouts. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Yusai Kikuchi with an ERA of 5.52. His last start, he pitched 2 innings, gave up 4 runs, and had 4 strikeouts. Uh, Yankees, I mean, man, on a huge winning streak. They've won their last 10 games. Um, they've looked good in this Toronto series, coming off a 9-1 to win. 5-0 um, and on the road. 7-1 and on the road against Toronto. They've played very well against the Blue Jays here. Yeah, love Nestor Cortez on the mound. Been really good for the Yankees this season. Rolling with this hot Yankees team on the road. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Angels versus the Boston Red Sox. Uh, both teams, oh no, Red Sox opening up as home favorites at minus 132. 
LA minus 110 with the over under at eight and a half. Pitching for the Angels is Reed Detmers with an ERA of 5.19. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Pitching for the Red Sox is Garrett Whitlock with an ERA of 0.54. His last start, he pitched three innings, gave up zero runs, had two strikeouts. Angels coming off a 4-0 loss against Boston. They haven't scored a run in their last two games here. Three out of their last four games, they haven't scored a run. It's been kind of rough for the Angels here, where they've struggled scoring. Um, yeah, I like Garrett Woodlock on the mound. He's been really good for Boston. Angels, they've just been struggling. Can't hit the ball right now. I'm taking the Red Sox at home. Next matchup, we have the Chicago White Sox versus the Chicago Cubs. Uh, the White Sox opening up as uh, favorites at minus 145. Chicago plus 125 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the White Sox is Lucas Giolito with an ERA of 2.57. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. Pitching for the Cubs is Kyle Hendricks with an ERA of 5.47. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up six runs, and had two strikeouts. The White Sox on a two-game winning streak. Did, did beat the Cubs yesterday 3-1. to one. Um, Looked pretty good in that matchup. Cubs just three and seven in their last ten where they have struggled. The White Sox six and one against the Cubs, um, six and one on the road against the Cubs. Yeah, the Cubs one and six at home where they have struggled. Yeah, I like the White Sox on the road. Gilito has been pretty good on the mound for the White Sox. Kyle Hendricks hasn't been all that great. Rolling with the White Sox on the road. Next matchup, we have the Cincinnati Reds versus the Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 270. Cincinnati plus 220 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Reds is Vladimir Gutierrez with an ERA of 7.41. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up six runs, had two strikeouts. Pitching for the Brewers is Freddie Peralta with an ERA of 5.0. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, and had seven strikeouts. Yeah, Cincinnati coming off a 6-3 loss against Milwaukee. Um, they're on a seven-game losing streak. I mean, they've been playing absolutely horrible. 0-10 um, on the road. I mean, this team's as bad as it gets here. Rolling with the Brewers at home. Next matchup, we have the Washington Nationals versus the Colorado Rockies. The Rockies opening up as home favorites at minus 150. Washington plus 130 with the over-under at 10.5. Pitching for the Nationals is Patrick Corbin with an ERA of 8.69. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Pitching for the Rockies is Austin Gomber with an ERA of 3.86. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Washington on a two-game winning streak, beating Colorado 10-2 to yesterday. Um, yeah, you know, they were able to hit very well yesterday. I like the Rockies off a of bounce-back loss. Um, had a rough day yesterday. I think they bounced back. Corbin hasn't been good on the mound for the Nationals. Um, yeah, he's just been giving up a run. Giving up runs. Gomber's been pretty decent here. I like Rockies off that loss. Taking Colorado at home. Next matchup, we have the San Francisco Giants versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 163. San Francisco plus 111 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Giants is Alex Wood with an ERA of 4.19. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, and had three strikeouts. Pitching for the Dodgers is Tony Gonsolin with an ERA of 1.59.
His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Yeah, Giants one and four in their last five, coming off a three to one loss against the Dodgers yesterday. Um, they're one and four against the Dodgers. Um, I like the Dodgers at home here. Tony Gonsolin been really good on the mound this season. Um, I'm going to lean with the home team. Rolling with the Dodgers at home. All right, next matchup, we have a doubleheader between the San Diego Padres versus the Cleveland Guardians. Uh, this is game one. Padres opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Cleveland plus 115 with the over-under at eight. Pitching for the Padres is Mike Clevinger with an ERA of zero. Looks like he's making his debut. Uh, pitching for the Guardians is Zach Plasak with an ERA of 3.80. His last start, he pitched three innings, gave up six runs, had two strikeouts. Um, Padre seven and three in their last ten. Cleveland just three and seven in their last ten. They are on a three-game winning streak, coming off that Oakland series where they played very well. Um, yeah, you know, just not in love with doubleheaders, man. Really not. Um, not in love with Mike Clevinger making his debut for the Padres. We're going to see how well he plays. Um, I'm going to take Guardians plus one and a half in the doubleheader. Um, just don't trust Clevinger. We have no idea what he's going to look like. So I'm going to take the Guardians plus one and a half in game one. And then game two... Uh, we had the Padres versus the Guardians. There's no line on it. Usually game twos, man. The line doesn't come out till way later. Um, I do have some pitching, though. Pitching for the Padres is Mackenzie Gore with an ERA of 1.76. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had 10 strikeouts. Pitching for the Guardians is Cal Quantrill with an ERA of 3.27. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, and had four strikeouts. Um, yeah, I, I like the Padres in game two. Mackenzie Gore has been really good on the mound this season for the Padres. So um, that's all the info I really have in this matchup. So um, unless, any, unless anything changes in game two, I'm going to take the Padres in game two. And then the last two matchups, we have another doubleheader. We have the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Detroit Tigers. The, the Tigers opening up as home favorites at minus 150. Pittsburgh plus 140 with the over-under at 7.5. Um, pitching for the Pirates is Dylan Peters with an ERA of 0. His last start, he pitched two innings. Gave up 0 runs and had 0 strikeouts. Pitching for the Tigers is Michael Pineda with an ERA of 3.60. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had two strikeouts. Both teams struggling. Pitt four and six in their last 10. Detroit three and seven in their last 10. Pitt eight and one on the road against Detroit where they've played very well. Yeah, not in love with this matchup here. Dylan Peters looked good in his, his last start and only start of the season so far. I'm going to take a shot with the Pirates plus one and a half in game one. And then in game two, there is no line right now. Um, I do see pitching for the Pirates as Jose Quintana with an ERA of 3.32. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up one run and had nine strikeouts. And then pitching for the Tigers is Alex uh, Faido. It looks like he's making his debut for Detroit. Yeah, game two. I just don't like game two. Seems pretty sketchy to me. We'll see what the line is. But I'm going to lean with the Pirates in game two, whether they're the favorite or the underdog. Don't trust the starting pitcher for Detroit making his debut. We'll see how he plays. But I'm rolling with the Pirates in both games. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Wednesday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a good one.